Buenos dias. Mucho gusto, mi amigos. It's good to be back. Okay, right, so today I went out on a 10 mile run uh, trying to rekindle an old flame. So anybody who's been watching my channel for a while will know that I had a bit of a falling out with Ultra. And I tried to order a pair of Touring 5 road running shoes because the Touring 4 were my all time favorite running shoe, daily plodder, just lovely cushion running shoe. And so I couldn't wait for the Touring 5 to come out. And when they did, literally the day they were released, I ordered a pair off the Ultra European website, which covers the UK as well. And they were £160. Uh, they took a few days to get here because I didn't realise they were coming from Italy. I ordered exactly the same size as I did in my Ultra Touring 4 and they were tiny so I had to send them back and when I sent them back I realised that they come from Italy and they had to send back, be sent back to Italy at a cost of £14.50 and they left the UK within two days, hit Milan. So yeah, they stayed there in Milan at the airport for four months so I didn't get a refund uh, because Ultra never received them back. So anyway, I had to put a claim in with the post office, which I did, and they gave me £50 compensation plus the price of the postage, so I got £64.50 back off them, which was brilliant because then a week later they arrived back at Ultra and I got my £160 back, so I was quite happy about that. But the whole thing left a bit of a sour taste in my mouth, to be honest. It wasn't just that either. I then ordered a half a size up from what I'd ordered previously and they were still too small, so... I just gave up on it in the end. Ultra Touring 4 were my favourite daily plodder, so they went down in the sale because they're a couple of models old now, so they went down to a really good price. So here's my original. They are completely battered. I wear them for work now as a paint and decorator, so they're covered in paint and God knows what. Flat soles, no grip on them whatsoever. But I've probably got over 600 miles running in these, um, plus wearing them every day for work now for the last few months. They've been really good shoes, really enjoyed them, clocking up some miles in them. So I tried to rekindle an old flame and bought myself a brand new pair, like I say, at a massively knocked down price. I took these out on a 10 mile run this morning. I've been running mainly for probably the, getting on for the best part of a year now in barefoot shoes, so I've got quite a few pairs. I've got the Five Fingers, some Freet uh, ones which are nice, Freet Pace. I've got Vivo Barefoot for the trails and also some uh, Merrill Vapor Glove 4 which are fantastic barefoot running shoes, absolutely lovely they are. But it takes quite a bit of concentration and the transition into barefoot running shoes uh, has been quite a long and varied one um, but it's been really enjoyable so I've really enjoyed my time in them that's why I've got a few pairs now but sometimes I just want to go out I want to put my headphones on I want to zone out I want to put a podcast on or some music and just plod away some miles I want to get sort of 10 plus mile runs in every weekend it can sometimes take a toll on the body doing that in barefoot shoes so I sort of thought something with a Nice bit of cushioning, these have got 26 mil, so about an inch worth of cushioning on them. They're still zero drop, so they're 26 mil at the forefoot and 26 mil at the heel. Even though they've got loads of stack and they look like really busy shoes, they're quite a minimal cushioned running shoe. So yeah, the idea was to get another pair, plod away, clock up some miles without really thinking about it too much. And today's run, it was a complete disaster, I was so frustrated. I think I put way too much uh, emphasis. I think I was, my expectation way outweighed the actual experience. I thought I was gonna be able to get 10 miles in these today, just cruising in autopilot, just plodding away, and just have a really enjoyable experience without really thinking about the running too much. Just get out, it's a beautiful day, the sun's shining, it's absolutely gorgeous out there. Perfect running conditions, about five degrees C, and just ideal. It didn't work, it just didn't happen. I, I, I don't know why, I can't quite put my finger on it. There could be a number of reasons. The highlights of my run today were seeing the arse end of a green uh, woodpecker, which was lovely, at one of the parks as it flew off into the distance. 
and eating jelly babies and the sun shining and that was about it the run itself was dreadful really really not good at all and i can't really put my finger on why i can, I can normally put a pair of barefoot shoes on and i can i can plod out 10 miles you know not too not too difficultly at all and i don't know whether it's putting something on with so much cushion now my legs just had no energy i felt like each step the energy return that i would normally put into progressing and moving forward just wasn't happening I, and i can't quite put my finger on why there's a couple of things that i can guess at and one was because i'm not used to running in any cushion now i don't know whether it just sucked the energy out of my progression out of my running stride all modern cushion running shoes market themselves of having this fantastic bounce and cushion and energy return to sort of propel you forward and these are great shoes don't get me wrong i love these shoes it's not i don't think it's specifically anything to do with these shoes in particular but running now in cushion running shoes i just feel like it sucked all my energy out of my stride rather than propelling me forward and it was really frustrating it was so because i was so looking forward i've had these in the box for best part of three weeks now because i've been waiting for the right moment the right weather the right conditions having a day that i can set aside uh go for the run and then you know video it my experience with it but it just didn't happen so i did 10 miles in the end even though i thought i cut it short but when it's still clocked up 10 miles but i ended up walking loads of it and i was expecting to do just a very gentle consistent run and to be honest i ended up shuffling half of it and running and walking the other half after the first couple of k because i just had i just couldn't i wasn't feeling it at all my energy in my legs just wasn't there and I've come across things like this before where I've been on really tough runs and mentally I can zone in and go through it and get through it and everything's okay, but oh, not today, just didn't work at all. It was, uh, it was pretty horrendous to be honest. So trying to rekindle the uh, flame for ultra and I'm not sure it's gonna happen to be honest. Uh, as I say, these were my favorite all time daily trainer, daily running shoe, but oh, things might have moved on. And I've got a brand new pair with just 10 miles in them, so I'm gonna give them another chance. So obviously I'm gonna do perhaps some shorter runs and see if I can get more into them and um, sort of transition between the two barefoot style running shoes and the, and the more cushion running shoes and just see how things go. But if it's anything like today, it won't be quite what I was hoping it would be. So, have I rekindled my love for Ultra? Jewelry's out on that one, I'm afraid. I'm not too sure I have at all. Have you ever done that before? Been in a relationship, gone back, and it's nothing like it was before, and it's a disaster, and it feels horrible. <laughs> Running shoes, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on with this, but see what happens on the next run. All right, that's me done for today. I'll catch you again soon. All right, take care, everyone.